There ain't no grave can hold my body down. There ain't no grave can hold my body down. I don't care what anybody says. Lamar Jackson has balled out this season. You know, Hollywood Brown has made me look bad because a few videos ago, I said that he and Lamar Jackson were the two best players on that team and on that offense. Well, I think Hollywood Brown was hung over from that victory over the Kansas City Chiefs because that performance against the Detroit Lions was pathetic. Lamar Jackson could have easily thrown for over 300 passing yards in that game had Hollywood Brown caught those footballs. Justin Tucker, the Hall of Famer. Yes, he's the first ballot Hall of Famer. And Lamar Jackson are the two best players on that team. I don't know. I feel like, you know, with the team being decimated by injuries and COVID, it's like the Ravens are literally channeling the energy of their logo, which is the Raven which is usually associated with bad luck. That is why guys like Hollywood Brown, who are healthy, need to step up and perform because they cannot, this team cannot afford to have any setbacks. Like this team, the Baltimore Ravens is technically 0-3. If Andy Reid was not conservative with Patrick Mahomes, the Baltimore Ravens would have not won that game. In this last game, with the Baltimore Ravens final offensive possession against the Detroit Lions. Had the referees had called a delay of game, then Justin Tucker would have had to kick a 71 yard field goal instead of a 66. And based on that last kick, Justin Tucker would have not had the leg for a 71 yarder. So really this is a 0-3 team with two and one luck. And I'm just thinking to myself, like if Lamar Jackson had the talent that Baker Mayfield's team had, the Ravens would be either 13 and four or 15 and two. I mean, come on, OBJ, Kareem Hunt, Nick Chubb with Lamar Jackson, the NFL would be done for, but no, he's on this team that, I don't know, they're just too inconsistent on offense. I mean, this week was Hollywood Brown, week one, the play that no one talk about in the media I didn't even hear Ravens fans talk about it, but when Lamar Jackson had like a third and 10 or third and five, I think, and he threw the ball to Mark Andrews and he dropped that ball. I mean, had he catch that ball, the Ravens would have moved down the field and most likely Justin Tucker would have kicked a game winning field goal with that game and the Ravens would have beat the Raiders. Lamar Jackson had the same problem at Louisville. His receivers always drop passes. It's the same thing with Baltimore. It's like, it makes no sense. It's so freaking annoying. And the fact that he has to rely on a tight end or tight ends and, you know, Hollywood Brown picks and chooses when he wants to show up because Hollywood Brown gets open. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Then you got fans that will say, well, the Ravens defense played well against the Lions. Yeah, against the Lions. Jared Goff is nothing more than a mighty putty. I mean, the Detroit Lions, their team has potential, but... They have no identity, just like the Washington football team. Like they have good athletes, but they don't have like no identity. Like they don't intimidate you. They're either too young or they're rebuilding. So if you're excited that your defense played well against that team, then I don't know what to say. Let's be real. If the Baltimore Ravens had the Minnesota Vikings kicker, Greg Joseph. High snap, put down, Joseph, come on. He missed it right. Oh Are my you heavens. Me? And they had Jared Goff as their quarterback. The Baltimore Ravens would be 0 3. Guarantee. Literally, I can say Lamar Jackson and Justin Tucker is carrying that team. Yes, Cincinnati is number one in that division. And yes, the Broncos and Raiders are the best two teams in the AFC West. What the hell?